Okay, so you go into the recordings. I'm doing one for Lexi right now. So click on game. And then up here, uh, you need to create a tag. So I created a tag in here. So if I'm create tag, uh, write your name in here. So uh, John Thompson, create tag. Okay, and then you're going to create a moment. So say, um, you are going to create a clip here for this touch. So, boom, I found myself. Is that make it public or create clip? And I want a second. So, press H. So, press H. And you go down, find my name. Right, home team, and uh, create the clip. So then, when I go in to clips, I do a filter, and then I type in uh, my event tags, find John, clip myself, there you go, apply the filters, right? So now any time that I make a clip, I'm going to be showing up here. So clip H, create a clip. Right, so then we're going to go move along a little bit. So I find myself doing a little action here. Create a clip. Okay, find my name. It'd be better here if we could um, it's easy to find. No, nope. create the clip. So again, maybe I find the clip here. Myself, create a clip. Uh, maybe I find another one here of myself. Uh, create the clip. Uh, there. So then I've got my clips, my moments. Let me add one more. Uh, create a clip. Um, there. So make it public. Then I go to the clips, right? So here's mine. There's the five clips that I made. So I would then edit the clip. So editing the clip. This one here, I would click that and I would edit it right. So, say, um, I hit play, and then that was me taking the throw in here in the corner. So, I would actually shorten the clip to about six seconds because I didn't need more than that. So, probably to there, and there, hit play, and there's me picking up the ball, taking the throw in. Shorten it there, so just edit your clip a little. Hit play again just to see what you've got. Perfect, maybe I'll shorten it by a second or two. And then I'll save it over here. So save my clip. Uh, and I'll go into here. This is my other clip. So we're going to through ball there, so boom, edit that, edit, and I probably won't need all of the end of it, so just hit play, there we go, me, through ball, and end of it, well done, okay, perfect, save it, one last clip here, so this is me playing out the back, that's the goalie, so boom, edit that, Got, hit play just to see what we got. Maybe that's me as a goalie. Yeah, maybe add a second or two, hit save. So now I've got my five clips in this game. And then I would go to the three buttons at the top, download all the clips. As for me, it's uh, downloading in Google. It would open up in my folder here. Now under my downloads. So it's downloading all of these. Um, if you have a, a picture here, 
just follow my mouse. If you have a picture, it's ready to download. There, it, sometimes it circles around. It usually takes one or two minutes for it to be ready. So I will go on here, wait for this to open up. There's there, I think it's ready there. So from I will drop this onto my uh, top here, open it up. There's my here's my five clips in this folder. And I use iMovie, so I open iMovie, and then I would drop those five files there. I would drop them into iMovie and edit them, uh, maybe with some titles, and some music. So maybe I would do building at the back, first touch, tapping the ball in the air, whichever it is. So on iMovie, I just create a new movie. grab these clips and I put them into here and I edit them obviously some of them I didn't edit in there so I'll knock that down to yeah, the six seconds that is uh, six seconds six seconds and then into this video I think I'll just shut this to show in the iMovie and obviously I'll move in here, add a title, move the title here, add game, Then maybe put titles in here. Uh, I'm not sure in iMovie if you can highlight yourself. Um, I don't think that's possible. You've got to get like a circle around you and a pause. If anybody knows how to do that, that would be uh, additional. So that's basically how I do my movie making. Uh, if you would like any help and assistance with it, let me know.